Jimmy, y'all. He's gonna do his thing. This is Jimmy, the owner of JL Automotive and Mobile RV Repair. Don't never go to him. Let me show y'all what the fuck happened. So before anybody try to say, oh, he couldn't do the job because you recording him, I told Cuz I'm a famous YouTuber and I can give him exposure for his company if I record it and he agreed. So let's start there. And I ain't find Cuz on a motherfucking backyard or the street. I Google motherfucking mechanics, good ratings, and his shit pop up. I don't know why, but it did. So Cuz come through, he tell me, okay, yeah, it's a two, three hour job, yeah. The shops told me, oh, it's a four, five hour job. Shops told me they could have it done in about two, three days because they backed up. He told me he could do it in one day. And as you see, clearly don't know what he's doing. Look at him, ass out, looking confused, moving shit around. Anybody who know me know I flip cars. I'm trying to get this bitch going and look at what the fuck he done did. Broke some shit and left. I come out to check on him, he gone. That's why you don't have a motherfucker that ain't got a shop fixing your shit. Look at this shit. This nigga's a fucking weirdo, dog. Nigga finally took this shit out. It took three hours to take this out. He had broke something else. All my coolies and leaked out. This nigga's a fucking dummy. Should have just took the shit for the shop. They were talking about three, two, three days and shit. This nigga talking about one day. Man, that sounds great, man. Y'all looking at this? Never take the cheap ride out. It's gonna always be some bullshit. Oh, behold, this crackhead decides to pull back up an hour later after not answering his phone because he knew he fucked up. I kept calling him like, where the fuck you at? He wasn't answering. I was texting him. He pulled back talking about, oh, he accidentally broke the crankcase breather pipe or some shit. I'm like, dog, how the fuck you break shit? All I needed was an alternator change, dog, and you come breaking new shit. So as you can see, we out here all day, dog. Remind you, he told me this is gonna be a two, three hour job. He said he could do it better and faster than a motherfucking shop and for a better price. But look what you see, it's getting dark. It's getting dark, dog. It's past four hours, it's past five hours. It's past the time he said he could do it. It's past the time the shop said he could do it. It's getting late, I'm out here all fucking day. My daughter come out to play a little basketball with me. She see I'm frustrated, she trying to cheer me up. You did? Come on, dog. I've been out here since 12 noon. It's like 6 o'clock now. You know it's getting late when the motherfucking parking lot lights cut on. Come on, man. So at this point, I'm ready to beat this nigga ass, man. He's still under there. Shit leaking. I'm like, dog. That's that frame I was talking about. No, it's part of the, where the, the rack and pinion sit up against the back side of it. You don't really get a whole lot of room to shift it around left or right be able to get that nut off the top of it. <sighs> wow. <laughs> y'all heard a little sob story he gave me? Only thing I got from that is that he can't do it. He's not capable. And as y'all can see, it's 10 o'clock. He had the nerve to talk about a toothache and he hungry. Talking about he'll be back in the morning. <laughs> he texted me that next morning talking about he quit the job and he don't like my attitude. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't get no attitude until you already passed the deadline when you said you could do it and you did it. So fuck it, y'all. Look at me trying to save a dollar. I done learned my lesson, and I hope this is a lesson to y'all. So I end up towing the motherfucking car to the real shop, y'all. Real deal shop. I found somebody said they could do it. The shop closed, but one of the mechanics was nice enough to stay back out there and whip up the job. Look at that. Old alternator, new alternator. Come on, dog. And mind you, dude was out there. What's his name? Jimmy was out there all fucking day, 10 hours straight, dog. Still couldn't get the alternator out. I finally took it to this motherfucking shop. As you can see, they got other cars and all that they working on and all that, you feel me? Other forms. I'm out here smoking and shit, you feel me? Dude, getting it together. I stood out there for 10 hours with Jimmy. Motherfucker ain't even get halfway through. This dude come, whoa, wow, whoa, wow, fixing shit up, you did. Did this shit in about two hours max. You did. Whip this shit up in, he whipped that shit up in about two hours max, man. Look at this. Dude ain't nothing to play with. And that just make Jimmy look all bad, dog. So yeah, like I said, life lesson. If it's too good to be true, if it sound too good to be true, do not do it, y'all. Like, subscribe, fuck with me, man. Look how he putting that motherfucking fan back in. Fast as a motherfucker. Jimmy ain't never got the fan out. Look at that. Brand new, back together. Y'all see they sign, y'all see the number. Complete Automotive Services. Go tap in with them, stop playing.